Hey guys, this is the core guy and in this particular video, I will be discussing about the latest recovery which has been made available for our core that is Clockwork Mod Adv Advanced Edition or also known as Phil's Clockwork Mod Recovery. Phil's Clockwork Mod Recovery is the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery which is available for our core. Now to install Phil's Clockwork Mod Recovery, you need certain things uh, before. Now, the most important thing which you need to do with your code is to root your code. Now I already have posted a routing guide. You can uh, watch it on my channel. I will also be posting a link down in the description. Now the other thing which you need is this application which is uh, Android Terminal Emulated App. Now this application will help us in the flashing process and the second thing which you need is this file recovery.img now this file can be obtained by downloading the uh, downloading the recovery zip from the description down below uh, now the file which will be downloading would be present in .zip format uh, that is in the compressed format you need to extract that file and after extracting open that folder and you would get a file named recovery.img copy that file and paste it in the internal memory remember that we have to use internal memory not the external memory you paste the that paste this recovery.img file in the uh, sd card 0 folder that is in the internal memory now the next thing which you need to do is open this android terminal emulator app and type su command now su command would be using to enter the super user mode uh, after you have pressed enter it would grant for uh, root access as I have already granted root access so it won't ask from me the dollar sign will change from uh, the dollar sign will change to hash sign uh, now you are good to go copy this command uh, I will be pay cop I will be giving this command in the description below and uh, right now it would be flashing on your screen also uh, copy this command uh, and paste it in the Android terminal application paste it and then press enter you would be getting something like this which means the procedure has been completed and you are ready to go uh, exit the terminal emulator app from the uh, topmost portion press ok and now the next thing which you need to do is simply power off your phone now as you can see that the our device has been powered off uh, for some time let us talk about the features which are available in uh, this fillz uh, recovery there are numerous features which are present in this uh, recovery you can see this is a huge list of features which are present but mainly uh, the main features of this room is that it supports four way touch functionality that is full touch uh, it support it support it supports full touch double tap semi touch and no touch uh, there is option for scrolling also there is option for uh, there is also it, this recovery also displays battery and time uh, battery a uh, battery functionality is very helpful because it will uh, help us that whether we want to flash a particular file or not uh, there are uh, graphical user interface customizations also like if you can increase the menu height etc there's aroma file manager which is also present i will be showing you the uh, tutorial on how you can install aroma file manager on this recovery or uh, there would be a uh, step by step guide in the description below also and there are numerous backup options like if you want to uh, backup particular particular now of your system our phone has been switched off to enter the recovery mode you need to press volume up button home button and power button uh, together press these three button together now after the initial vibration leave the power button and keep hold uh, the volume up button and home button uh, keep it holding now you may release both the buttons as you can see uh, we have entered the clockwork mod recovery now as you can see that uh, 
in first look it looks completely different from all the recoveries which have used till now uh, there are some soft buttons which are present down here these are exactly the same like which are present on the nexus lines of google uh, tablet as you can see that or phones here you can see that these buttons are exactly the same now the uh, the feature which i talked about that is the battery option and the time which has been shown at above uh, moreover there are some fills setting which are present see i have tapped one time but it didn't recognize my touch because there is double tap option which has enabled after i touched again it has now opened the fill set settings uh, the in fill set setting you will find recovery script aroma file manager reroute system that is uh, routing your system again verifying route on exit uh, save and restore setting GUI preferences that is uh, graphical user interface preferences like uh, touch GUI whether you want full touch semi touch hard, uh, hardware buttons you can adjust the menu height you can t uh, select the touch accuracy vibration function etc etc to back you can use this button uh, here you go back now uh, in backup and restore there are various settings which are present like backup to sd card 0 sd card 0 custom backup like where you can uh, in custom backup you can select uh, the if you want to backup boot image if you want to backup recovery if you want to backup system data sd external card cache memory all these can be used uh, now this was the initial uh, recovery uh, we would like to thank uh, PhilZ for providing this awesome recovery to us and also ali.filth uh, which has ported this r to which has ported this recovery to our uh, galaxy now, core in the previous recovery which we were using uh, the problem was that it was very buggy there was a graphical glitch which was present that is the recovery did not uh, fix the screen and moreover uh, there was a recovery loop which was present in that uh, in that loop uh, recovery uh, to show that this recovery doesn't have recovery loop i will be uh, accessing the recovery i will be accessing the recovery from uh, one of the applications now i will be showing you that there is no recovery loop which is present in this room uh, the first uh, you need to download an application which access uh, recovery from the system I have uh, I will be taking the example of flashify application you can download flashify uh, for free from uh, play store uh, we will be tapping on flashify it will be reading our uh, recovery info uh, it will take one or two seconds yes it's now completed now reboot to recovery here we go now it is now rebooting to recovery as you can see the uh, phone has uh, switched off it is now rebooting into recovery here we have fill set recovery uh, has been installed now normally uh, in previous case when we used to do reboot system now uh, it would again reboot it would again reboot into clockwork mode recovery now let's see this time will it boot not really into the system or will it reboot to the clockwork mode recovery now here we go samsung logo and galaxy core here we go so as you can see that this recovery doesn't have the uh, recovery loop uh, issue which was present in the previous uh, recovery which was made by me uh, so this recovery is fully functional with you are fully functional full of thousand of features and can be used to uh, and can be used to flash zip and uh, roams it is kitkat ready which means that you can uh, flash uh, roams with kitkat also so you now uh, here are two or three things which you need to remember uh, for this particular flashing process uh, the first is you should have minimum of 30 percent battery with you now this is not a necessary but it is often said that you should have at least 30 percent battery so that if something goes wrong you have ample amount of battery uh, power which can sustain you uh, through tough times uh, the second thing which you need to remember that after uh, you have uh, 
in, uh, remember that when you, we use terminal emulator and we flashed uh, and we used that command and press enter and enter into uh, the recovery for the first time when you will be entering the recovery for the first time and pressing reboot system now uh, instead of this blank space there would be option uh, which would be saying that yes disable recovery flash now remember to select that option uh, that is uh, disable recovery flash as it would prevent us from uh, at, it would prevent the old uh, stock recovery to be rewritten on the new fz clock uh, work mod recovery the third thing which you need to remember that you uh, you don't you have not to put uh, you should not put the dot zip file uh, into the uh, folder into the internal sd card first you have to extract that dot zip file uh, there would be recovery dot img file which you will be getting after extracting that dot zip file you need to take that uh, dot uh, recovery dot img file and you need to place that recovery dot img file into the internal memory remember you need to use internal memory not the external memory and then you and then after that you need to write uh, uh, su and then that command thanks people for watching this video uh, i sincerely thanks phil z for providing this awesome recovery ali dot phil for po porting the that recovery to our core and you people for watching my uh, videos uh, happy holy to our indian uh, viewers and uh, hope that uh, malaysian airline uh, finds that uh, uh, plane thank you people for watching and do like comment and subscribe thank you